Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my MacBook Air. So I got this MacBook Air for free one year ago today, and like I said, I'm just going to be talking about it, talking about how it's performed over the last year and stuff. This is going to be similar to the Mac Pro one year video. So the first thing I want to get into is kind of the story of me getting this machine. So I got it for free from work. It was liquid damaged. I believe the owner left it open in the rain, kind of like Linus Tech Tips did with the XPS laptops. And in Michigan, our rain is pretty acidic from what I hear, and it didn't really play too nice with the keyboard. The MacBook Air did not like that at all, but it still worked. So I got a top cover for that, so that's a new keyboard and a new trackpad. And all of that went all right. The machine happily accepted all of that. I had no issues with it. I believe I paid 90 bucks or 80 bucks for that top case. And I didn't have an SSD for it, so I booted off of an SD card for about a week, and then my boss actually gave me a 120, no, a 240 gig SSD for this, I think. And so that's what I'm on now. So I network recovered it with Lion, and then I installed, I believe, 1012 on it, and I believe it's still running 1012, actually. Let's check here about this Mac. It might be on, yeah, it's on 1012. That's right, my last video. Actually, you haven't seen that video yet, but we erase a drive using 1012 on this. So there are the specs of it. It's a 1.8 gigahertz Core i7, not the dual core. It has four gigs of DDR3, more on that later, and then a 240 gig SSD, and then the HD graphics 3000 or whatever. So overall, a decent little machine, gets the job done and does it well. So this machine I would kind of use as my daily driver sometimes, especially during like the fixing the Mac Pro videos and a lot of other times. Sometimes I would tear down my setup to clean up and I would keep this thing as my main for about a week while the Mac Pro was in the other room. And it ran very well. I got a lot of school projects done using GIMP on this. So very good laptop, performs decently, and it's pretty reliable. Another thing is it's very portable. Of course, it's a 13-inch MacBook Air, so it's really thin and it's really light. I really like that. I could just slide it in my backpack and take it to school with me or wherever. So earlier when I was talking about the RAM, I said more on that later. Now it's later. So the issue I have with this is it only has 4 gigs of RAM, and that's a big problem sometimes. I do find the machine swapping out like browser tabs and stuff very frequently. If I have even one or two or three open, then it will swap that, and whenever I click on the tab, I just get a white page for half a second or so, which it's not too bad, right? It's only half a second, but I do notice that other times when I have a bunch of apps open, I do get some stutter on it. Kind of the worst thing about the 4 gigs of RAM, though, is this machine, a lot of the time the battery will die on it, and that's both because I sometimes don't plug it in when I'm supposed to, and other times because the battery doesn't really last as long because it's an older battery. This is a 2011 laptop. The battery only has roughly 200 cycles on it. 300 I think. I'm not actually sure. I checked a few months ago, but I forgot. But like I said, the battery sometimes doesn't really last as long power. If we go here, you can see we have 207 battery cycles on here. So it's not really like Apple advertised with MacBook Pros like a thousand cycles before it starts degrading. I do notice battery degradation on this. But like I said, when I would leave it unplugged and the battery would die on it, when I go to plug it in a lot of the time, the main issue I have with the 4 gigs of RAM is OS X does this thing where it loads all of the open running applications and browser tabs, etc. And that was a huge issue for me because it would load, I'd have probably f six or seven applications open at once and it would try to load all of those at once. I'd literally have to have the machine just sitting there for a couple of minutes sorting all of that out. And when I would try to quit applications as they're opening, that wouldn't really, you know, work. So I couldn't do that. So that's kind of like the only issues I have with this machine. Actually, I'm looking at a list here I have. There's no Ethernet port on this machine, which of course, you know, that's typical for modern Apple laptops and stuff. But also when I was taking this apart and replacing the top case when I first got it, I damaged one of the Wi-Fi antennas. And so I only get like a small bit of range. I believe Kyle's tech channel told me that damage to one of the antennas will result in lower range. And I do experience that with this machine a lot. Also, the last issue I'm gonna talk about with this machine is sometimes when I open the cover, it just won't wake up and it'll just kind of not really turn on at all. And so I'll have to hard shut down it and restart it. I don't know, it's probably just cause this machine's kind of a little bit screwy with the whole liquid damage thing in the new top case. So, you know, it is what it is. It's still a good laptop and it gets the job done. So I'm looking into getting a new laptop and I believe 
I'm going to be using that laptop kind of as my workstation and laptop. So it's going to be kind of replacing the MacBook Air and the Mac Pro. I'm thinking of maybe getting a 2018 MacBook Pro. Of course, we know those have six cores now, 32 gigs of RAM and nice video cards. So I'm probably going to get one of those and take really good care of it so it doesn't fail as soon. And then, like I said, the last point will be the plans for the MacBook Air. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to install maybe 10.6 or 10.9 on here and use it as kind of a secondary laptop, maybe take this one to school with me so the MacBook Pro doesn't get too damaged in my backpack. I'm going to be taking my MacBook Pro to one of the computer classes I have, but that's it. I'll be going to that class, coming home, and then going to my normal school for that so I can just swap out the laptops then. Another thing is the SSD in here uses a proprietary interface, so I can't, you know, put it in a desktop PC or put it in an M.2 slot in a laptop. It is proprietary for this model, so I won't be using the SSD from here. It'll stay in this machine because I have nowhere else to put it. So yeah, overall this machine performed very well for me during its... So overall this machine performed very well for me, and it will continue to be my main laptop for the next month or so until I get a new laptop. And of course I'm not going to be, you know, getting rid of it. I'm going to be keeping it around for testing and for secondary laptop use and stuff. So yeah, with that said, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.